Welcome back to AI Historic Expeditions and our ongoing series, Influential Women in French History. After our in-depth exploration of Marie Antoinette in the previous episode, today we journey to the late Middle Ages to meet an extraordinary woman who ruled twice as Queen of France and steadfastly defended her homeland, Anne of Brittany. You can download a free PDF packed with interesting and lesser-known facts about Anne of Brittany. Just click on the link in the description below. Okay, let's get on with the story of Anne. The Duchy of Brittany, a feudal state that existed between approximately 939 and 1547, covered the northwestern peninsula of Europe, bordered by the Atlantic Ocean and the English Channel. This duchy was established after the expulsion of Viking armies from the region around 939. Politically unstable during the 10th and 11th centuries, the duchy often found itself in conflict or alliance with its neighbor, the Duchy of Normandy. The independent sovereign nature of the duchy began to come to an end with the death of Francis II in 1488. The duchy was inherited by his daughter Anne, but King Charles VIII of France had his existing marriage annulled and then married her himself. They had four children but all died young. Charles VIII died in a freak accident in 1498, leaving Anne a widow and the sole owner of the duchy. Soon after, Louis XII, successor to Charles VIII, sought to marry her. Anne agreed, provided Louis XII's union with Jeanne de France was annulled. The marriage contract between Louis XII and Anne was signed on January 7, 1499, where Louis XII pledged to respect the privileges of Brittany. The marriage took place the following day. Anne spent much of her time on the administration of Brittany, making the preservation of the duchy her life's work. Unfortunately, that goal would fail shortly after her death. Beyond her political work, Anne was also a patron of the arts commissioning tapestries and illuminating manuscripts. She was a devoted mother and commissioned books to aid in the education of her children. Anne of Brittany was well-educated herself, which was not common for women during that period. She was fluent in Latin and had a good understanding of Greek and Hebrew. Anne greatly expanded her household at court, especially in regard to young girls, and she maintained a retinue of 100 Breton gentlemen. Anne issued the Permis au Voyage, a law that allowed women in Brittany to inherit property in their own right. This was a progressive law that challenged the traditional laws of the time. The union of Anne and Louis XIV symbolized the coming together of the Breton people and the French. One such public display was during the Battle of St. Mathieu, where a united Franco-Breton fleet fought against the English Marine. Anne of Brittany, a fiercely intelligent and determined woman, was a symbol of unity between Brittany and France. This union was a critical step in the formation of modern-day France. Thank you for journeying with us through the life of Anne of Brittany. If you enjoyed this expedition, hit that subscribe button and join us in our next journey where we'll meet Eleanor of Aquitaine, the queen of courtly love. And remember, don't miss out on the free PDF about Anne, available in the description below. This is AI Historic Expeditions, your time-traveling guide to the past. Until our paths converge again, farewell.